Hey y'all, it's uh, Leland TV, and I got a video today where I'm going to show what I keep in my carp fishing tackle box, essentially. And it's a cheap tackle box that I got at Walmart. I think it was like three bucks. But yeah, it just kind of keeps all my carp stuff together. I do a lot of different kinds of fishing, and you know, you kind of get to a point where it's like you got to have your own specific, uh, you know, tackle boxes for what you're going after. At least that's the way that I do it. But needless to say, let's uh, let's get into it and see what we got. All right, so pop this open and let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna go from top to right and just start explaining stuff. But um, I keep a bunch of leaders that I've pre-made on this little pool noodle thing and that way if I break off while I'm out there I can just easily replace hooks and stuff and be good to go and you know I have a couple of different rigs that I do for carp you know I'm like just a beginner you gotta keep in mind so I'm just getting used to things but yeah it's just a cut piece of pool noodle that I put in a section of the tackle box and Going over here, I have a section of braided line that I've gotten at uh, Big Carp Tackle. And the idea with that is, is this is what I was using um, to make my leaders. And it's a nice, convenient little, little thing. So I keep it in my tackle box. But otherwise, I've just got a lot of like little, little, little loose ends in there swivels and beads and line stops and you know that all that type of stuff Let's see if I can yeah just that kind of stuff keep that in there keep it pretty organized and yeah so I keep a lot of my uh, different leads over here and this is a method lead and this is actually my favorite uh, rig um, to use for carp. The only problem is is that they're a little bit expensive. And uh, these ones are a li little bit uh, lower weights, but they do work. You want them heavy, like a two ounce or more is usually pretty good because you use the, a bolt rig, or at least that's what I use. Um, I ended up getting these cheaper cages and on Amazon and I can make a pretty inexpensive carp rig using those so that's one I've tried I haven't caught anything with it yet but I'm thinking it would work I don't see why it wouldn't and yeah I just keep some of that stuff in there um, over here I've got my fake corn that I got on big carp tackle and this stuff really actually does work <laughs> um, Surprised to say I'm very glad I got it um, This squid one this fruity squid I got a I put it on a boilie and I think it may have helped me catch a pretty large catfish um, So that's good, but yeah, I just keep those in there in that section It seems to be a pretty decent spot to have them in um, Down here. I've got some different leads uh, for re-rigging and um, one of them are these uh, bell sinkers that I have and I'll put in a, a picture of what it looks like with the rig um, but it just um, connects onto essentially like a what is it a um, sinker disconnect type of thing and these do work I've used them in uh, I like to use these with a uh, pop-up boilie, and that seems to work pretty well for me. So, and I'll put in a picture of what that looks like. But yeah, these egg sinkers are what I use with the cages, and I ended up getting a bag of these, uh, thinking they would be good. And I don't really use them for too much, so I'm hoping they'll work out for carp, but... Yep, I've just got additional leads over here. These are some of the lightweight method feeders that I have. 
And then over here, I've got a lot of uh, boily stops that I've just kind of accumulated. And I keep a pair of scissors. I have a baiting needle that I like to use um, for putting boilies on hair stops. And I'll put it in a picture of what that looks like. And yeah, I've just got a couple pieces of loose corn in there. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll kind of go into more detail on some of the particular gear that's in here as time goes on. But pretty much this is, for the most part, what I have. Um, I'll also include what I keep in my bait bag in this video too. So yeah. We'll check that okay, out. so this is uh, my bait bag, and I keep boilies and corn and all kinds of stuff in here. But yeah, it's just a bag that's always ready to rock. Um, I've got some pop-up Nash boilies, I believe. Uh, I forget which kinds these are. Instant action pop-ups. But yeah, these work pretty well. And I keep some other things in the pockets that I'd like to show you. I've got some PVA mesh that I got on Amazon and haven't necessarily had any luck with that. Maybe I have, I'm not sure. And then I've got the little Amazon uh, tackle kit that I use for like the traditional carp rigs where I use with the pop-up uh, boilies, like I was just saying, these, these boilies, pineapple crush boilies on the side. But yeah, really pretty simple. I do also keep a microfiber cloth for wiping hands and I keep a uh, Swiss Army pocket knife in here I believe this one is the farmer and this is a nifty little knife and it has a can opener on it which I use to open corn but I also use the knife too it's good to have a few knives with you but yeah that's uh, essentially what I bring for a carp tackle and yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this could be helpful to somebody. And if you can, hit that like or subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks again.